Hi, we are here with Rustin Levinson from Art Care Conservation, and we've invited her to come to the Polk Museum of Art to help us conserve our chariot race painting. Thanks, Hi, Alex. Great Thanks to be coming. here. Great to be here. It's been an interesting week. So, Rusty, we invited you to come to the museum because we made this really exciting discovery on the Florida Southern College campus. Um, as you know, in September of 2016, there was this new painting that had been missing for 60 years in our college lore. Nobody knew it was there until it was magically discovered in our facilities department. And after locating the documents that came along with it, it was presumed to have been a 17th century Italian Baroque painting by Domenico Fetti. Our experts might look at the subject matter of a chariot race and realize that <laughs> probably was not a Domenico <laughs> Fetti painting, but from 1953 until 2016, in the 60 years that it was missing in between, that's what it was suspected to be. I'd love to know when you first saw it in February of 2017, what your first reaction was to the painting. Um, it was really an interesting painting, and when it was unrolled and unfurled and I got to see it, Right away I knew it was in 17th century. Um, I've actually written a book about materials and techniques of paintings and how you use those to make art historical assessments and you could see that it was a pre-prime canvas and those weren't available to artists until generally the mid-19th century. Okay, so that already eliminated the possibility of going so, back to the 1600s. Right there, it was, yeah, it wasn't, um, technically it couldn't have been. The canvas, well you know, was really torn, there were a lot of uh, tears, even canvas losses, big areas where canvas was missing. Um, partially, um, you do look at a canvas and test its elasticity, and certainly in feeling the canvas, you, you could tell it had some age, um, and probably some abuse as well. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's what happens when it's in a closet for 60 years, I guess. Yeah, I, I saw the first roll it was on. It was a bit small. Um, so the treatment this time uh, was to come in to surface clean, to get rid of the grime on the surface as much as safely possible because it is a super fragile painting. Um, and also to consolidation. There's along all the tears the paint was coming off. And even as we unrolled it, you could see little crumbs of painting. And to me as a conservator, losing paint is, is not a good thing because it's what the artist put on. I can always retouch it, but it's not the same right, as the artist. Right, it won't be the original hand. Exactly. So is that your primary goal, would you say, first thing is to stabilize the actual original artist's work as yes. much as possible? Absolutely. And also, um, there, because the tears were moving every time we tried to move the painting, uh, I put some bandages on the back and I stabilized some of the rejoins, some of the tears that could be rejoined safely. Did you make any surprising discoveries? I think the most surprising was how much retouching there was on it. When we put the black light, the ultraviolet light on, we could see so much retouching. A lot of it was very easily soluble, even in the aqueous solutions I was using, so luckily a lot came off. but there's still some left behind. My feeling is there are probably two campaigns of retouching, one quite a bit older than the other, hmm. just because of how different uh, the overpaint looked in raking light. So you mean, so one set of retouching that was more approximate to the time of the original painting, rethinking the canvas or the composition, and then a later retouching? Mm, I'm not sure about rethinking. I think it was maybe a conservator or before they exhibited okay. it or somehow, you know, there weren't a lot of alterations, but there was a lot of what I would call strengthening, make that hoof stronger, or okay. make that horse's leg more shadowed. And a lot of the retouches had discolored, so it's hard to know how well they matched. And it's being kind to call them retouches. They were really overpaints, hmm. a, a lot of them. So that's curious and requires some imaginative explanation. Right. And in terms of the condition of the painting at this point, as you leave us after your week of conservation efforts upon it, what do you think about it in terms of its improvements and its status now? 
I think now it can be gently handled safely, which is a step above. A lot of the dirt that came off was pretty corrosive, and so to leave it on isn't good for the painting. I think you'll get less paint loss, but it's still going to have to be handled minimally and carefully. But it's ready for the next step of treatment if you decide to go ahead with it. Excellent. And you made some other small discoveries. You saw there were some pentimenti, which are leftover original thoughts of the painting, perhaps. And can you talk a little bit how you reveal what's hidden below the surface of the painting? Um, we didn't do any analysis, really, so a radiograph, which would show something, maybe show something underneath, or infrared. It would be interesting to look at it with infrared because you could see when I showed you about the horse's hoof how strong the underdrawing is, and it seems to be in charcoal, which will show up hmm. well under uh, infrared, really more interestingly than a radiograph. So in your opinion, working with the painting now, from a, your first visit to this visit, what estimate would you place in terms of its chronology, if its timing, where it might be from? We know 19th century by virtue of the priming of the canvas. At least, yeah, at least mid-19th century. Beyond that, it's... I can't say. I would say, given the, the way the canvas is degraded, that it has to be this is a wild guess, 70 to 100 years old and maybe even older. I just worked on a painting that was 1867 that hadn't been lined and the canvas was in better shape than this. Wow, okay, so it's either in very bad shape because of the conditions it was kept in or because yes. it is so it's hard it to very estimate. Old. It's hard to estimate. That painting had been on the same wall of the same museum for since 1873. So. Wow. So, Definitively not a 17th century painting. Definitively. Ideally, is something that we will find is connected to the really famous von Wagner chariot race. And we'll discover more, more and more about it. Well, thank you so much, Rusty. We appreciate your coming to the museum. Appreciate you stabilizing this great masterwork that we may have hidden. And as we search for more answers about it, we really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. Everybody's been super helpful. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Sure.